You probably tried no fab, but see that you keep relapsing and you just can't seem to stop. Well, in this video, I'm gonna to give you essential mindset shift that you can apply to actually stop fapping. I started to be interested in nofap and sexual transmutation a couple of years ago, but I used it to go on and off. I kept relapsing and coming back to it again and again and again. And while it improved as the time went by, I saw that there was some deep things to rewire and to understand to actually be free of that. I'm now at the point where it's more natural for me to not actually watch porn and fab than to do it. So when you get to this point, it's way easier. And yeah, it becomes really the standard of how you are living your life. So you don't have the cravings and need to do that constantly. You actually are free from it. One of the main problems that arises a lot from the NoFap community is the idea of counting the days just to get the biggest streak possible, you know. And when you break that streak and you relapse, you are all sad and feel like you lost all the progress. It's not like that at all. Relapse is part of the process of rewiring your mind and losing the habit of fapping and watching porn. So just this mindset is something that you have to get rid of. Drop it, stop counting the days and live like you just don't fap anymore. If you count the streaks, you will be obsessed about it and you will actually think about it more and more and more. And that can lead you to relapse in the end because you're just thinking about the fact that you don't have to fap, you don't have to fap. And so you, you, it's, it's on your mind all the time when you actually are grounded in a real no fap, I mean, just not fapping, you just lose the habit, it's just, you don't have to think that you don't have to fap, it's just in your lifestyle, it's just the norm is to not fap. That's the other point that I, that I wanted to talk about, the fact that your norm should be to not consume porn and not fap. So as you keep going in this process of rewiring, you will see that it will become the norm and fapping will actually be kind of strange, you, feel, you will feel weird if you try to do it because you will just not be used to it, it will feel forced in a way. So that's where there will be actually a real change in your subconscious because you will just at a level of identity feel that you don't fap anymore. It will be something in your past, so it will not be tied to your current identity. And this is a key point if you want to actually stop this addiction or whatever you want to call it. So what can you do to actually stop fapping? Well, other than the things that I already told to you, other mindset shift that you can apply to rewire the mind will be to be incredibly aware in the moment of the craving. So when you have a craving, be completely mindful of it and don't move. Your mind will be wanting to jump around to distract you but just stay on the sensation and observe it. Don't do anything else. So you'll notice that when you have a craving, you get some mental images and your mind starts to react to those. What is fundamental here to do is to watch the reaction itself. And you'll notice that you are not that reaction. So you naturally are not in a state of reactivity. That's just your mind. It will be harder to observe in the beginning, but the more you do it, the easier it will become. So remember, each time you have a craving, just be aware of it and don't do anything else. The more you will be aware of it, the more you will see that it will automatically fade away. So breaking out of this reactivity is what will actually not make you relapse because the relapse are just reactivity of your mind to a craving 
which then lead to identification with that craving and you just want to release and you actually follow what your mind is saying but when you just watch and you stay still the craving will just fade away and the more you do that the more your mind will be reprogrammed to not react to the cravings one thing that you should keep in mind is that the main trigger is poor so just don't watch it if you stop watching it it will be way easier to not relapse so in the beginning you can maybe even just do it on your own without visual imagery if you want to but yeah cutting out porn will be incredibly helpful and actually porn is way more damaging than masturbation itself because it just overflowed your brain with so much dopamine and it just f fuck you up mentally i mean the, the effect that it has on your brain and on how you see reality woman sexuality it, it just fucks everything up see the problem with watching porn is that it continuously fills your mind with images that then will come up during your day and will trigger really hard cravings so when you stop watching it you'll see that with time those mental images start disappearing because you're not consuming it anymore and then it will be far easier to not react to the craving because there wouldn't be the image component to it which is a really strong part of the craving as i mentioned earlier one other important thing that you can do is to change your identity based on that so don't have the idea that you are someone who faps with that i mean switch your identity to i don't fap anymore i don't watch porn anymore i don't, don't do that anymore so whenever you have a craving or you want to do it just repeat that in your head and with time it will reprogram your subconscious mind and your identity will just be that you are not a person that does that so you will just not do it that's actually a fundamental thing because every behavior you do is guided by your identity if you have the idea for example that you are a bodybuilder you will train you will eat in a certain way well it's the same things for everything else so if you don't fap if you are someone who just doesn't do it you will not do it of course this change of the subconscious will take some time but keep it in mind keep in mind that it will require relapse are parts of the process and if you just keep going the rewire will be complete and in the end you will just not even have to think about not fapping or resist to a craving cravings will disappear with time and you will be actually free of it so you will not have to be to thinking about being free of it but you will be actually free of it if you are in a difficult spot in your self-improvement journey click the link in the description to do a direct coaching with me we will figure it out how to improve your situation and get to the next step if you are currently struggling with mental health or depression i just wrote an ebook that i put for free on my website in which I, from experience and research over the years on depression, I collected what I found to be the most effective and actually working behaviors and tools that you can use to get out and stay out of depression. So if that's something that interests to you, you can find it on the description. That said, thanks for watching and see you.